Welcome to 3 Minutes Fix. In this session, we will see how to use Do Basic Customization Kit. I have customized Do source code based on previous tutorial which I have created. Examples like changing splash screen, package's name in the app icon, in other advanced guide teached how to customize home page and movie details page finally, added player customization. Recently, I have also added web video caster option in Do app. This source code is compilation of all the tutorial which I made. For the record, I have not added immersive mode and pip mode for this app. Reason is those two are buggy. For now you can get the source code from the Telegram group or by sending a direct message to me. Remember, you need to purchase do script to make this working. After extracting, your folder will be like this. Now, in this survival kit I have added a readme file. This readme file is the root map to use while you got stuck anywhere in building app. This readme file consists of three section, one will be, intro part, actually, I have created this for upcoming tutorial, so user can follow me without re-watching videos, in internet, section two is the tutorial part, I have added a written tutorial on, how to make use of this survival kit for yourself, third is, change log, this log consists of changes, which I have made to current app, I will show them lively, while app get build, first thing you have to do is, change the API key, Server URL, OneSignal, and YouTube API. If you want, you can also enable other feature mentioned here. For changing the package name, check the README guide. For the wellness of our users and viewers, I have updated all the dependencies except the ExoPlayer dependencies. Reason they have depreciated many keywords and that make app non usable. Also, I have removed install app permission from manifest file. Compile SDK it's recommended to have version 26 if you're planning to add picture in picture mode otherwise you can keep it default. If you're planning to update, you have to do that in your admin panel itself, here you have to add your version code and name from Android Studio. Edit the version name, for example change it to 2.0 and press sync button. Now add same version to your Android setting page. Same way do it for version code also. Many raised complaint that Android not able to update it's always shows error. Common reason is, Android inbuilt update check, if your link has .apk extension. If not it will keep on loading. So remember to add your link in .apk format. Best upload place is like your hosting page or use Firebase storage page. Don't use link end with .html or any other format. Now, let's start building our app. As mentioned in changelog, I have added new theme for splash screen. Now you can control the navigation color for this separately. And other part of activity will have its own color. Reason is immersive code make app to crash in Android 11 or higher. I have not changed the view pager mode as it's like by our viewers. But I have changed the position of the ad mob provided by Google to top of the page. Reason is it will get more attention by viewers. To show this, we have to enable the AdMob from Admin Panel. After enabling don't forget to remove the app cache. After clearing the application cache, now restart your app to view the changes. This is how your app will look like. I have added demo ads since I have no AdMob enabled account with me. Next changes is your movie detail pages. I have slightly tweaked the page by changing few things namely, changed position and thumbnail image view. The image view came from Glide was in low resolution to save your data, but now it loaded in full resolution to make app look great. I have not made any other changes to other activity including search one. If possible, I will add this project in private GitHub library and push a update so our user can download it. 
Many of our viewers asked about three-row movie settings, so added that, with little tweak in the size of card view. Same way I have also added for web series, you can check and tell me if it work for you. Next is I have changed the player view design a little, if possible we'll change it to better one in future, for a basic survival kit I guess this player view is enough. All the button that are necessary are placed in bottom of the screen, while creating guide, I will post the design update and ask for voting in community tab, so best voted design will be taught in the tutorial. This kit comes with pre-installed WebView caster code, when you click, it will take you to WebView caster application, from there you can control the casted video to TV without any other problem. While recording this video, my demo app got crashed, reason is there is no bug in code, it's because of the actor list which loaded from IMDB, the movies I added are, made fully in the computer or CGI, there is no actor involved so it get crashed, check and see by connecting your panel to make it work without problem. Finally added few slide up and down animation to app, this will make more interesting for viewers, or in other word will be like professional movie OTT application. Since this is basic survival kit I have not made many changes, will try to add more changes in future, either via tutorial or GitHub library. Moreover, since we don't know future, but still if possible, we'll create a basic survival kit for every new version, that developer release, so you don't have to make, all major changes, and finally, we have come to end of this tutorial, thanks for watching, share our channel with, your developer friend.